Thank you. That's very insightful. To me, it looks like a special effect. It's amazing. Understatement of the century. What it is, is impossible. Especially since it's not showing up on any of our equipment. Fine. Hmm. Hmm. The tech guys confirmed it. Whatever that thing is, it's not showing up on any of the instruments. So they say the island doesn't exist? Yeah, pretty much. Gotta be some kind of group hallucination. It could have been brought on by eating the purple fruit, you know. Listen, Headzilla, the villagers have been eating that purple fruit their whole lives with no side effects. Huh? Plus, I've barely eaten any. Well, you talked about food, and now I'm hungry. Come on, Bob, let's eat. All right. <clears throat> hey, we're not done. I know, we'll finish tomorrow. Besides, it'll be dark soon, and the village doesn't have electric lights yet. What do you mean by yet? The Jurassic truck is solar powered. And so, I can rig the daily charger to power some lights at night. So, weird on the cob or mystery spinach? Weird on the cob. My tummy doesn't like huh? that green stuff. What's the deal with that thing anyway? Oh. The floating island is the sign the Oracle Pyro spoke of. Everything is finally coming together. This world's destiny will soon be fulfilled. That flying island will change the world. That seems highly unlikely, sire. <laughs> you are absolutely right, my friend. I think that it's time to tell you... I'm listening, master. When I was expelled from Nesseron after saving his life thanks to you, I seemed to wander. Aimlessly, outcast alone, until I found myself in the cave of the Oracle Pyros. Your journey is over. Your penance is complete. Your name is no longer Treek. From this moment, your name is Drakabon, Supreme Lord of all dragons. Pyro showed me my destiny, and that of all dragons in this world. Please tell me more. He told me that soon, a comet named Fire Rock would come to the Earth and devastate it. Are you saying that the end of the world is coming? For some, the end, yes. But dragons will survive. Hmm. How about having some fruit, too? Yeah, why not warm apple pie? Mm -hmm. And ice cream? Quiet. I think I heard something back here. It's the huh? fruit thief. I'll go to the left, you go to the right, and we'll trap him. First, let me close the door, so we can trap him. I'll lift the basket and you pounce. All right. One, two, three, lift! Huh? <laughs> Got Dude. it! Whoa, Dinofro's Jr. <laughs> huh? 
We finally abducted the village fruit thief. Huh? Is that really oh. him? Whoa! That Whoa. thing stole the dino watch. This, my friends, is a species of small herbivore called Pegomastax. Who's a good dinosaur, hmm? You are. Yes, you are. Well, we finally got ourselves a mascot. I hope you like your new home, buddy. How's Tusk for a name? Come here, Tusk. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> wow, it obeyed you. Hey there, Tusk. Come to Uncle John. <laughs> The world as we know it will cease to exist. The green trees and the blue sea gone, like most life. Now I understand. The upgrading transformations of the flames of Golgoth will allow us to escape extinction. Flame is the dragon's ally, and with the passage of the Comet Fire Rock, we enter into an everlasting covenant. The Earth will become a planet under our stewardship, where only we can survive, thanks to the fires of Kolgar. Which is why you ordered all of the dragons to gather here. That's right, but keep all of this to yourself, Vlad. Speak not one word of this to the other generals. As you wish, my lord. <laughs> um, well, it's friendly. He doesn't seem to ever stop playing around. Yeah, he never slows down at all. Tusk is a party machine. It must be taught discipline. We see one pipe down. Are you his mommy now? I've heard this species is quite tasty. Melston. Oh, I'm joking. Mostly. Hey, guys. It wouldn't be a bad idea to get an early start tomorrow. Dad, what's up? Good news, Tom. I might have found a way to finally track down Stroker and his people. Feels like the J-Truck's running better. Well, take good care of your Weird Ancient Spy Tank, and Weird Ancient Spy Tank takes care of you. Some of the villagers swear they saw other people with clothes like ours. Where'd they spot them? I'm pretty sure it's somewhere to the south. Close to a mountain. Or by the mouth of a fountain. There were definite translation issues. Well, not anymore. What's that? Phoneme phone. It translates stuff. Where did it come from? It was on the Jurassic Truck's standard equipment manifest. It's supposed to work with any language. Sounds great. I can't wait to study it. This thing could be quite helpful. Well, I don't think it's going to help with this. We've got incoming dragons. Oh, he's right. They're approaching us from the southwest. What are we looking at? Four, flying in formation. That's not all. They've all got humans with them. Look at that. Huh. Huh. There they are, Headzilla. The question is, have they spotted uh. us? Uh. 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 to work. Uh. Uh. You have the cannon. John, watch out, man. They're all around us. Well, now, they're all in front of us. Is that better? All right, now, John, what are you thinking? I'm thinking we better hit these guys from every angle we can manage. Bob, stand by for laser stunning. Laser stunning! You read me, Professor? Huh? 
Loud and clear, Eric. I'll try to help the wounded natives. Good luck trying to hold off those dragons. Roger that. Professor is clear. Ah, you silly dragons, we're not just hamburgers. All right, Headzilla. I'll try to line up a shot for you, buddy. Nice! Got two in my sights! Take the shot! Uh, uh, just shoot him! Uh, Laser stunning now! All right, Headzilla! Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, all right, Bob! <laughs> <laughs> now that was some inspirational maneuvering, John. Thanks. And now we'll lead them away. Dad, you all right? We're fine. Turns out none of the injuries were serious. All right. We'll pick you up later. Ah. First, we'll handle these dragons. Nice work today, boys. You said that the wounded are all right. They'll all recover, but I have some other concerns right now. You're talking about Stroker, aren't you? I am, Tom. I think Stroker and the others might have been taken prisoner by dragons. Huh? <sighs> These images were all captured today, Professor. I'm impressed with these kids, the Dino Froze, and their ability to fight the dragons. Especially their leader, Professor Carter's boy Tom, who apparently can become a dinosaur. What if these boys jeopardize our mission? We're almost ready to activate phase one of Project Dominion. I know that bird. But what if we could arrange to get a man on the inside? Or better yet, a boy. From what the hunters are saying, the person they spotted sounds like it might be Stroker's son, Will. I was just talking to your father about a proposal that involves you as well. Oh, this is my son, Will. Hello. Hello, Will. Now, why would this guy be alone in the forest? Maybe he got separated from his father, or maybe he's the only survivor. But whatever the reason, we absolutely have to get out there and try to find him, no matter what. Mm-hmm. Generals Petrus and Arctic are on a mission, which means that in this case, it falls to you to deal with Dino Froze. It will be my honor, Lord. I want the Dino Froze before me in chains! Then I want them to watch their world burn, then burn themselves. I have a new enhanced dragon. Its name is Hammerhead. Or should I say, their name is Hammerhead. <laughs> Your time in the fires of Galgoth has ended. Do you feel ready? Well, I could use a bit more time. Did you not hear? It's time to fight. Go, Tusk! All right, 
Tusky. Just bring it back now. I'll give you this, Bob. He's got your brains. I bet I can train him. I'll bet that you can't. And whoever loses has to give him a bath. Guys, we're on. Yeah. Dino watch time. Huh? Looks bad. We'd better get back to the office. Stop setting fire to everything we pass. Be quiet. We're a dragon. Head northeast, John. Right. The desert's that way. Well, desert driving is always fun. I think that's oh. our guy. Well, it doesn't exactly look smart. Dino Watch! Uh. Alarm! Huh? Oh, fish huh? heads! Uh. Oh. Uh. oh, man! Did he just spit meteorites? Name, huh? Hammerhead. Species, Dragon Mutant, 15 meters tall. Not only that, it has two carved heads, and each one has a different personality. Seismic attacks by throwing boulders. And of course, fire breathing. Its special attack is not just throwing boulders, but throwing flaming boulders. It shoots meteorites. Which dino froze should I use for this? So, Captain, what's the plan gonna be? I plan to give these two guys the right welcome. Come on out, uh. Dino Froze. Waiting makes me mad. Ah. Uh, hmm. I hope Tom makes the right decision. Dino Froze Evolution! I bet he's been dying to try this one. <laughs> it's just awesome. You see him? Uh, no. Hello, boys. My name's Gorilla, and I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I don't know which one of your ugly faces I should hit first. That's putting your heads together. Nobody told me you guys were funny. He's the funny one. Uh, I'm okay. Hey, Tom Kong, you want some help with those fellas? I mean, two heads are better than one. If you can! <laughs> Do you really think a ditch is going to stop me? <laughs> Time for a hammer and blow! Stop that! How did it know monkeys could fly? <laughs> Hold on, Tom. Reinforcements have arrived. You like to jump? Jump. Oh, jump. Yeah. <laughs> It's a hammerhead seismic attack! Uh, gotta love that anti-squat suspension! Uh, yeah. uh, that is the 
the dumbest looking attack ever. You can't beat us. Uh, then I'll just beat you. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. <laughs> They're strongest when they attack together. I've got to keep them apart! You're just not strong enough. Uh, that's half a dragon's opinion. You're a boat. You fool! You told him we were about to attack! Never call me a fool! I won't get good. Wow, they're fighting each other. That'll really help, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Are they actually doing this now? <laughs> this is my chance. Ah, Not so juggling act yet? I'm glad you're having a good time. I sure am. Well, not with him. You, on the other hand, are awesome. You got that oh. right. <laughs> He's trying to play us off against each other. That doesn't mean he isn't right. Uh. Jealous much? You're so useless, Lefty. Uh. Oh. Take that back, oh. Miggy. Uh. Come on, guys. You're both about to enjoy my devastation. Oh. Uh, 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 yeah, Dino Frozilla! <laughs> All right! <laughs> huh. That is a force to be reckoned oh, with. My head hurts. Or does your head hurt? Oh, I can't tell. I hate you so much right now. This new Dino Froze, it sounds quite strong. It is most impressive, my lord. It will not be easily beaten. But why? Why does it matter at all, Vlad? Well, it doesn't. Fire Rock will kill this new Dino Froze and everything else. Hmm. Sent into the ancient past Their dino watch will set off a mystic ice blast The superheroes are ready for battle Using the special powers together Dino Frost Driven to win one for all and all for one Dino Frost Nothing can stop them, not even the whole planet The time has begun to save the world from destruction For superheroes are ready for 